So we hope you enjoy listening to this podcast half as much as we enjoy making it for you. Because we had a ball. Only real content is going to last. All that other nonsense is here today and gone tomorrow. Yeah. Right. So that leads me into my next question is, um, what do you think has been the most important skill that you've acquired and, and used through your profession? Uh, I think hands down for me, the most important skill has just sort of been developing emotional intelligence. And I know that that's kind of a buzzword in sort of the business world, but it's really real and true and it extends to all relationships, whether they're working or, or not working. But for me, in terms of like a career landscape, developing some level of emotional intelligence. So I'm talking about like listening skills and empathy, um, communication skills. It really doesn't matter what job you're doing or what role you're in. I think it equips you with the ability to listen um, and learn one thing and to connect with people like on this level that it doesn't feel like you're social climbing. It feels like you're uh, socially connecting, you know, um, you're making an effort to understand another person, understand another connection, as opposed to sort of using it, absorbing it like a sponge and then throwing it out later. Because all of these things like build up inside of you and there are all these experiences that you, you carry with you to whatever job you have. Like, you know, I worked as a busser in a restaurant for years, but I can say that a lot of those skills that I learned um, have like helped me out exponentially in any other job that I've worked since then. And I can see it in the difference between like people who've never worked service jobs and people who've always worked office jobs and have been concerned about you know, moving up the ladder, they don't handle certain things as well, or they don't communicate as well, or they don't handle stress as well. And so I, I, I just believe like in terms of like, um, yeah, emotional intelligence, having a certain level of empathy and communication as like sort of your core driver um, in terms of work or, or otherwise. Yeah, I agree. That's I think those are great leadership qualities, really. I, I also want to throw in there um, gratitude. Mm. I think gratitude is also very powerful in, in any profession and whatever you do, being able to step back and just be thankful that you're still here. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Being able to do the things that you're able to do and, and you'll just look at the situation as um, just looking at it as far as with an abundance mindset instead of a victim mindset or or you don't think you're going to be able to do it not enough confidence type of thing just i think gratitude is very important within that. so true yeah i i i totally agree i mean especially in sort of the climate we live in mm -hmm. right now um and just sort of staying grounded and sort of your experiences and what's ahead and what's behind you but really just being present i think gratitude is a yep. huge part of that uh, and so sort of one of those like working skills, like you can kind of see yourself slip away, like you like get mm -hmm. like stressed or overthink and then you kind of have to like really make an effort to put yourself. I know at least personally, I, I struggle with this sometimes and I'm like, wait a second. Okay. Life is good. Look around you, like, mm -hmm. you know, absorb your setting, like where you've been, what you have. Um, and I don't mean like consume, you know, like, you know, this table or whatever. I mean like your community, your friends, your right. friends, your, your family. Yeah. Your, um, All of those things. Your passion. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Good point.